one of the more creative approaches to trying to convince others of the veracity of your belief in something called a God is to attack the foundation of the rationality with which people who don't share your beliefs would approach any statements you make about your God. And the argument that is then often proposed is that, well, you are making arguments against the existence of my God using logic. You claim that reality is subject to the laws of logic. And if reality is subject to the laws of logic, then how do you explain the existence of the laws of logic? They must have come from somewhere. And so the little rabbit is snuck back into the hi-hat from which is then later pulled and said, here is my God as an answer to all these contradictions. But what is at the basis of any argument like that is a plain and simple but complete misunderstanding of what logic actually is. And this is, this manifests itself in statements such as stating that reality is subject to the laws of logic and statements similar to that. And the problem with that is that that is an absurd notion. As these people correctly point out, in my opinion, this presupposes that the, the laws of logic must therefore be external to reality and imposed upon reality. And if they are external to reality, then you've opened the floodgates to any other claim of supernatural nonsense that could explain other aspects of reality. And you've basically entered La La Land. I'm not going there. So if I'm not going there, then don't I have a problem? Well, no, I don't. You see, I do not su subscribe to the position that reality itself is subject to logic in any way, shape or form. Now you will probably think that I've lost my mind. Surely reality is internally consistent. It sure is. And you can apply logic when you are talking about reality. But therein lies the rub. You see, reality is not subject to logic. Statements about reality are what are subject to logic. And this leads us to the correct way of looking at the whole so-called issue. And that is to understand that when we are talking to somebody about reality, including if we are making statements about the existence of some God thingy or other, we are making statements about reality. And we are then subjecting those statements to logic. And logic then is no longer external to reality. Logic is emergent from reality. Reality is internally consistent and after the emergence of beings that are rational and can formulate thoughts and communicate them to each other, we devised a formal system of, a system of reasoning that we call logic. That system was invented by us as a coherent, internally consistent system that would allow us to make statements about reality and to manipulate statements about reality and compare them to each other, each other and to assign truth value or falsehood value to such statements about reality. The important realization is that logic is therefore not a set of laws that is imposed upon reality. Logic is a contract between communicating entities that formalizes, formalizes the way these entities 
entities communicate with each other about reality. And once you understand that, all the confusion, all the misunderstandings disappear. The moment you make any statement that purports to be a statement about reality, including a statement like, I believe in this thing called God, and I believe that God is the creator of the earth, and other statements like that, you are making a statement about reality. By simply making the statement, you have signed up to this verbal contract. You have signed up to an unspoken contract between you and me about the nature of your statement. It is a truth statement, a statement that can be confirmed or falsified. It is made within the context of a logical system that is, for most people, not formally written down, but still intuitively understood to some extent, and by which we, without saying it to each other, agree to communicate. And that is what is happening when we apply logic, when I listen to your statements, to your claims, to your assertions about your so-called God, and I then reject them. Now, it is perfectly fine to then turn around and say, well, your rationality is based on a form of logic that I do not accept, for example. That is fine, but you are still making truth statements. You are still making falsifiable statements, or you are still making statements about reality. And if you reject the logic that I am applying, that is fine, but then you need to clarify what alternative system of logic you were actually using while you were making your statements. You need to communicate that to me in that case, in which case I can understand what you're doing, I can adopt the same system of logic, and then I can reason about your statements using that system of logic. But even in that case, once you have made that clear, you are still making statements about reality. You are still bound by a logical system, even though it is a different one than I had originally thought. And, and this is the crucial bit, you are bound by the logical system that we have agreed upon in order to communicate, communicate with one another. Trying to wriggle out of that, as some apologetics are wont to do, is ridiculous. And if you completely step back from talking about reality and accepting that you are doing so within a mutually agreed logical system of rationality, then you are rendering your communication meaningless. It is like talking to me in a language that I don't understand. And you may be talking and you may think that what you are making, what you are saying makes perfect sense, but to me it is incoherent, unintelligible noise. And the same goes for a system of logic that we haven't both agreed upon. If you start making statements to me about reality, and you refuse to allow yourself be pinned down to a mutually agreed logical system by which we, you make your statements and I understand your statements, then your statements become incoherent, unintelligible, and effectively meaningless. But there is the crux of the whole problem. It is not that logic is externally imposed upon reality, Logic is a contract, and if you refuse to abide by it, then you cannot communicate. And that's the long and short of it.